Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and always a pleasure and so nice to be back. Yes, uh, today I've got something different for you and um, yeah, I've downloaded this uh, um, mod from modland.net and yeah, as you can see it's an old school tractor. <laughs> it's an old IMT, it's a 558 and uh, yes, um, I just thought I'll have a bit of fun today with this. And uh, yeah, if you look at the model, it, it doesn't look too bad. Tires is brand new in the back, <laughs> which is unusual <laughs> for an old tractor. You hardly ever see an old tractor with brand new tires. But anyway, the model itself doesn't look too bad. There is, however, a few things that I want to point out. Farmer Bob has just serviced the starter motor. You can see it's brand spanking new, nice and shiny. And then, yeah, the the uh, the cylinders, uh, the slaves, uh, the master cylinders for the brake, and it seems, yeah, it's the two brake pedals on this side, normally on a tractor, they're just hanging there mid-air, um, this side is your clutch, which is good, and then also, yeah, from above, it's also serviced a diesel pump, there it is, <laughs> it's a four-cylinder diesel pump sitting there, and then something which is very strange, which i noticed, is uh, the fan is sitting in the wrong place, it's actually sort of behind there where it should actually be there in the in the cowling of the of the radiator it should be sitting there so it's a bit far back so there's some problems with the model not a lot but some um, if you look at the front tires they're nicely worn a bit so <laughs> nothing wrong there and uh, and then there's no lights the lights is cracked so this indicator the lights I wonder if they actually work these um, Indicator lights. I haven't tested the indicator lights. Um, if I can remember which button it's on my numpad normally, but no, nothing's working. Not even the lights is working. So this tractor is blind. <laughs> blind at night. And then you can see the white smoke from the from the exhaust pipe, which means that the piston rings is a bit short. <laughs> what do you expect from an old tractor like that? And there you can use there you can see that uh, fan it's sitting inside the motor instead of there inside the cowling. So it's just a bit of rendering on the on the model that's a bit out, you know, placement. Otherwise other other than that, um, it's got no mud flaps in the back, which I think if you go through mud is gonna give Farmer Bob a big surprise of spray mud all over him, you know, which <laughs> I think will be quite sad. <laughs> But anyway, apart from that, uh, the tractor is nice. Um, let me quickly run you through the specs of it. Uh, it is available there at modland.net to download, obviously. And here it is. Uh, it says 40 k's an hour. Don't get excited about that because it's only 28 actually <laughs> in life, in real life. Um, it's a whopping $45 a day. Uh, that's what you, your, your maintenance is on it. It's a 43 kilowatt, which is for this size of tractor really not bad. Um, if you look at, uh, um, there's no upgrade options or other things that you can do on it. Um, so yeah, this if 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 you like to play a bit of old school maps, which I sometimes do, um, or maps where you have very small fields that you don't want to mess around with. Um, big tractors and things like that or if you've got some stuff to do like a trailer or um, mowing um, taking water to your to your animals you know that that this is ideal for it and it's a cheap tractor it only costs five thousand dollars <laughs> and and uh, yeah a very very nice all-rounder on small odd jobs you know it doesn't have a front uh, attachment uh, so you can't put anything in the front. However, I wanted to check on the weights. Uh, I know I've got the mod for the for the Massey's, uh, for the Massey Ferguson, this one, yeah. And I was wondering if you could attach this to the front of it. So let me quickly select that and just buy it. Uh, yes. Okay. That's one thing I wanted to verify, which I haven't done yet. So without further ado, let me show you how fast this is. 28. <laughs> That's the max speed for it. So yeah, like I said earlier on, don't get excited about the speed. Farmer Bob is never in a hurry anyway, so 28 should be fine for your small odd jobs, you know, around the farm. Nothing, nothing too serious. 
No, oh, it's attractive, guys. I must say, uh, I grew up on the farm myself, and um, uh, having having an old tractor on the farm is you, you need, uh, you know, that's just how life is. You need the tractor on the farm, you know. So there we go. I just want to reset this to the farm. Okay, once again, I'm like as usual. I'm on the uh, the Plains and Simples map from Stevie, also available there at uh, modland.net. If you want to grab that. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a very nice map. I do all my tests and uh, fiddling around and adventure and whatever I do on this map. Now the question is, if this thing will actually attach, I will really, really be amazed if it does. I don't think it will, but anyway. Sorry guys, it's not going to attach, let me just, just align this a little bit better, but uh, yeah, no, it doesn't make a difference, so it should actually have already connected, but yeah, okay, what if we try and manually put it on? I don't think you can. Can you pick this up manually? Too heavy, eh? <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Let me just get back a little bit. Jump off. You never know, guys. You never know. Just never know. Okay, no. We can't do nothing. If I enable IC, there's absolutely nothing to uh, to do. Uh, even on the tractor itself, it's got an IC. Uh, function but there's nothing to, to actually do on it. Uh, okay, anyways. Let's honk and see how the honking works. Ah no it's one of those scooter eaters. I don't like that scooter eaters. <laughs> okay. Anyways, nevertheless, just to show you a quick uh, uh, ridiculous thing, I mean this tractor is totally too small for this uh, huge I've got one of these huge water jerry uh, water trailers and this tractor is it's an overkill to load this tractor but as you can see the old uh, uh, what is this again the IMT it, it really makes me think of the old forts and majors we, used to get, uh, we had quite a few forts and majors on the farm Oh, Farmer Bob, are you crazy? What are you doing? Oh, and now I've gone and pressed the wrong button on my <laughs> on my controller. Oh, no, actually on my steering wheel. No, I don't use the controller, I use the steering wheel. Ah, but anyways, guys. So, yeah, laugh if, laugh if you want. This little um, tractor can. Let me just see if I can get close here. Can I actually put water in here? I wonder if I can. No, I don't see any. supposed to be able to uh, is this actually a uh, water tank am I fooling around now got the universal yeah it should be able to handle water let me take it to the to the actual water spot that I know it is here on this map right there by the I think it's by the sheep pen yeah a nice water for place. I might be totally crazy that this is the water the, uh, reservoir or what is it water trailer. Um, it is a universal thing so I 
sure you, you know, well, well, maybe universal is just a name. <laughs> and it's not really universal. So it could be that this is uh, a refill universal bit. There you go. You see, you can put water into it. <laughs> now, I'm wondering up to what point will this poor tractor be able to, to pull this huge, massive thing? So it will be interesting to see. It's actually overkill, guys. I know I'm, I'm being stupid, but anyway, it's just fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to 30% and then just see because this is a lot of water. There you go. It's like 9,000 liters. That's nine tons of water, guys. And our little tractor is smiling at that. Well, it's not really smiling. And here he's like, he's complaining a bit, but he's still fighting for it. Oh my word, okay. Alright guys, so that was fun, just to show you that, you know, even with a small old tractor like this, you shouldn't be ashamed to, to go and, to, I'm going to just leave it here by the peaks anyway. Alright. Let's sort of fill up the peaks water pen while we add it. Oh, they're taking a lot of water. Wow. Good thing. Good thing I came around. It's not even enough. Anyways. Okay, so. Uh, how do I detach this? It says I can't detach. Why? Well, uh, probably because I'm on a... Uh, Wrong place to detach it. Can't detach it here by the bucket. I'm just going to park it here. I'll pull it to here again. Alright, there you go. So, yeah, just to show you, um, this little tractor is really not bad, you know. Good all around there. <laughs> it can do big jobs as well. So, don't be scared to, to give it some big jobs. Well, what I was thinking to just quickly show you, uh, just to uh, give an idea of what, what you can do with this, um, what is it, 45 kilowatts? Was it 45 kilowatts? I think it was 45 kilowatts. 43 kilowatts. Yeah, 43 kilowatts. What you can do with 43 kilowatts. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this thing's rings is really finished though. This the ring was shot. Look at that. It's white smoke. Oh, farmer Bob, you better fix this track soon. You've already done the starter motor and you've done the diesel pump, so now you might as well just do the motor as well. Yo, look at that smoke. Oh, yeah. As the thing is getting hotter, we are chucking away a lot more smoke. Okay, first thing I want to quickly just do. I show you I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna uh, just mow this uh, just this piece of grass here in front of the um, thing I'm not gonna do the whole thing obviously that will bore you to death but what I want to do is I'm gonna set up just a course with course plane um, and then yeah to just mow this piece of grass or maybe I'm not gonna even bother maybe I sheet if you guys like to see how to use course plane to do this which is not a field it's just an off off-site type of thing you know so what you do is you um, you just select field work and then start recording a course okay so that's what we're going to do uh, but what you want to do is you want to ride on the edge of your field with the center of your tractor all right so that's what you want to do just drive center on on the edge of your field so there you go you start So you keep that edge on the center of the track. Because this is going to mark the outside edge of the field that the push play is going to use to generate the, the course. So what you're basically doing is just creating a new field edge. An edge path, what they call it. So that's basically it. So I just want to go internal view because it's normally much easier to align something like this on the intern, internal view. 
can close this thing in full space if you, if you want to. Annoying you. <laughs> okay, on the edges, uh, what you do is be uh, try and do like almost a 90 degree. You know? It doesn't really matter that much, but it's good to, good to have it like that. And then, like that. There you go. And then you go. Oh, you don't have to really go into your field, but you can. Space. Right. Stop that with my left, my right front wheel on the edge of the field. Great stuff, man. And yeah, what we're doing now is recording the field, the new field edge part, and we're going to use that edge part for course papers to work course in. It's so simple. Man. And then the tractor can do the rest, the the, the, the hiring or the, the worker. Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay. So you go there and stop. Alright, and then you say stop. And that's basically it, guys. And now what you do, I can just save this. Uh, I'm just going to save it. Cross field edge. Okay. Oh my word, they don't click there again. You must never click there because if you click, you will lose your cursor. I'm one of those guys, I, I looked at the keyboard when I typed. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my word. Okay. And then working with this 3.2, looks like it's on this thing. And we're going to start. Uh, let me just try it out here. We can now start here. You don't have to start, you start any place, but you just point field course where you want to start. Uh, course play where you want to start. So we are at the, it will be the northeastern side of the field. Northeast, there you go. And we're going to drive west. And that's it. And then we don't worry about headlights, we don't anything else. And you just say, please make a course for us. And then go here, look at the course. And there you are. I'm just wondering why did it do it that way. I actually wanted to do it the long way around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to chuck that course away. Something is the middle. I am at the northeast. I don't know, something went wrong. Let us just try that again, guys. Uh, and we go here. Currently, loaded course. Uh, working with 3.2, that's the mower. Northeast. We want to drive west. That's where we are. So everything should be fine. I don't know why it did that, but let's have a look. Yeah, it does that again. So let's just. I've never actually seen this happening. Um, northeast. All right. Let us do this. Let me chuck that away again. Uh, go here. Load it again. The field edge. Um, create that. Northeast. Let's change this to because it's thinking we are going to drive a north south. So let us change this to. Um, Instead of west, let's do this south and see what it does. Great for us. Ah, there you go, we've chipped it. Like I say, I've never actually seen this in course play, so that is a first. Okay, this is the end of the path thing. We're gonna have to go that side. So it's just gonna start there. Alright, and then what you can do, you can save this one now uh, as the mowing. Oh, just I'm just saying no fine. You don't have to worry about just setting this up. Uh, and then there you go guys, then course play will now mow the field. I am definitely not gonna mow the whole thing because that will bore you to think. I'm just gonna mow a strip. Because the idea is was to check how this tractor handles everything, you know? 
and they have got the um, uh, electric tether there and the loading wagon so we're gonna check out and also just two or three pieces of equipment you've already seen it can handle a huge water, uh, water can ok I don't want to be stupid now but where is my starting point guys let me just tell this thing to go to the start point start at the first waypoint there you go so now our driver will find the first waypoint itself it, I think it was on the other side we just didn't see it but on the box was a bit blind <laughs> sorry guys oh my gosh look at this thing he's driving over this grass it's still lying here from the previous mode <laughs> and it's shaking the whole tractor you can see there's another another problem here with the rendering of the, the, the rear lift our mower is actually so close it's pulled up into the back wheels so these back wheels is grinding away on our mower so yeah, there's some more, some more little distances and things that's not really worked out so that on this model check there those flaps is grinding into the wheels So now, our friendly worker will, will do the thing for us. There you go, see? And it's going to keep on mowing until it's mowed this whole course. It's so lack, eh? Check that. Have you ever seen a lady drive the old back to the I haven't, but anyway, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there it is, so this is such a fact, so I actually enjoy the, the scenery. And I mean, an old tractor like this can be mowing for you all day long. For like a few dollars a day, I mean, it's a bargain. It's a real bargain, guys. You don't really, you don't really have to spend thousands of dollars on buying uh, um, up-to-date tractors and that to be mowing and that kind of I can call it Pampara work, you know? <laughs> oh, stupid work. <laughs> Not that there's anything stupid about it, but I mean, it's just, um, I'm just going to change the speeds a bit, yeah? There's really no need to, to drive that slow in reverse. You go up to 18 in reverse, which is not so fast. And there you go. I'm just going to let it do this two strips and then we'll, we'll um, actually I'm just going to drive up to there by the equipment all through this. So it's very simple to just stop the driver when it's close by. Okay. Off. And now we can go and park it. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Okay. Drop that there. First of all, let's can quickly uh, try this loading wagon. This is the smallest loading wagon you can buy. Um, I don't think this tractor will really be able to, if you look at uh, bigger loading wagons, um, it will definitely, like this one, it needs 88, you know, so it will be, it will be totally ridiculous to try and uh, do any loading with, uh, um, with this tractor. Uh, let's change the view, yeah. Alright, if, I mean, it will be overkill to use that, that uh, um, loading wagon. Even the second one in the, in the row will be too. You should see that I lower this now. Yes. Switch it back on. And there you go. And this thing's top speed, I think it's 19 or 20. So this tractor is totally running nicely with this. 
and you can use course play the same course that you created to, to run this and not a problem at all you just keep the same width as the mower because if you change the width you, uh, you're going to have a problem so all you do is start at the first waypoint again and run, run, run with the same equipment run the same course you know and, then, and it'll keep on doing this alright guys so it's handling this very well man. Well, I don't know what you think but I mean this tractor yeah, it's got a few problems with it guys the guys that created it do not let me just sort out the little bit of the pops so the thing could put some lights in it come on guys we know it's an old tractor but at least give it some lights man <laughs> and fix this hooter that's not a hooter man and the top. that's the type of things you put on one of these uh, little scooters that the girls drive don't put that on the track ok and then obviously chuck it out there we get some bucks in so yes you can see this tractor is very nice for small bucks but you can't put uh, uh, a front end loader on this because I'm sure this thing will handle a front end loader as well uh, what do you call it uh, not, uh, not a forklift uh, uh, a uh, um, Those things now, I'm, 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 I've, I've like, struck a blank. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, this is a tether, uh, a windrower, so we don't want to have it uh, at the moment windrowed because we're first going to tether it and then you windrow it and then, then you obviously load it up with the bale and all with the, with the loading rack and again. So the tether is going to make it nice and demacar. The word demacar means to be uh, uh, messed up. <laughs> it's like when you wake up in the morning, your, your hair is messed up. <laughs> That's what the word means. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's just quickly unfold this thing while we're driving. Handy little tool, man, to have on the farm. Look at it, flat out. Oh, I must probably put it down. No wonder. I must have got it, guys. Yo, still need to change it to the reverse. Okay. It will only work if I put it down, eh? There you go, look at that guys, look at that. You see, so it's, I mean, you can do a lot of work with this one. But it's not, uh, it's not rocket science. It's not the best there is, but it's fun. <laughs> Especially if you want to play a bit of old school, you know, guys. So yeah, I can do the job. But, I mean, to tell you the truth, there's a lot more, more attractive uh, old school tractors. Uh, if you... If you download the, um, the Massey Ferguson old school mod, um, it's got all the Massey Ferguson old school tractors in it. And I must say, I quite enjoy the uh, old school uh, Massey tractors. It's not really old school, but I mean, it's small tractors, you know? All the small tractors. Well, guys. I hope I've, I've touched on everything that I can think of if I normally check on tractors. Uh, one thing I must tell you, uh, this tractor has one thing that is got the best of everything. I, there's no tractor that can beat this tractor's 360 degrees view <laughs> all around. <laughs> you can even see the tires like I said earlier on. The mud is going to kill you on this thing when you drive the mud. But, uh, um, yeah, it doesn't have a cage around it or anything, so you've got a lot of view around you. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, I wanted to just quickly run through this and um, see what it's all about. And there it is. The old, uh, it's an old IMT 558. Looks to me like an old Fortson Major, but I suppose in other countries they call it something else. Or maybe it's the same old design. 
And uh, yeah, take care guys. This is Farmer Bob. And we say cheers for now. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. I appreciate your honesty, man. Until we meet again. Cheers.